Here is the best way I have ever found to learn to modulate from any key to any other key. Start off in the key of C and simply play a C major chord in the simplest form. Then add an octave at the top. Now collapse that chord just a little bit to get to a G7 over D chord. Then go back to that same C major chord with the octave. You want to learn this so well that you can do it in your sleep. Now to get an idea of how to use this simple skill to go to other keys, let's build the same structure in E flat. Now let's build it in G flat. Now let's build it in A. When you add the key of C to all this, which you already have, this completes the quartet idea. You now have four keys that are all a fat tone apart. There is only one more step to this part of the video. We now want to start in C and go to E flat. Now start in C and go to G flat. Finally, start in C and go to A. The result is you start in C and go to three different keys. You are modulating from C and it is all as smooth as silk. Now comes the rabbit hole. We want to learn how to start off in C and go to anywhere. For instance, let's go from C to A flat. Now let's go from C to E. We started in C again, but we went to two new places. What is left? Now we want to start in any key and go to any key. Let's go from E to D flat. Let's go from D to B. By now you probably see the idea. We can go from anywhere to anywhere and it will always work. What about minor? It turns out that we can always start with minor and move to minor and it works just the same way. Here is D minor to F minor. Here is E minor to C minor. Now you have two examples of using minor instead of major. Once again, we can go from any key to any other key using minor. What do we do if modulating from one key to another sounds rather abrupt? You may remember that moving from C to G flat was rather exotic, but perhaps it was not very smooth. So let's extend this modulation idea. I will start off in C just as I showed you, but now I'm going to add G7 in root position, and then I'm going to play G7 flat 5, which is a French 6 chord. Then I will leap to G flat just as I showed you earlier in this video. Notice how much smoother it sounds just by adding a couple of extra chords. Finally, I'm going to repeat the last three chords to make it sound even more convincing. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave me comments about anything you like, comments about anything you'd like to see in the future, and remember that I consider all suggestions.